So my curious eight year old son said, Daddy, why you don't never talk about the dude that drive the big truck? The one that go, huh, huh. Five reasons we should appreciate the truck driver more. Number one, y'all got the worst schedule in mankind history. I'm frustrated driving my child six minutes down the road to school every morning. I'm frustrated picking up my child six minutes down the road from school every day. I'm not finna drive from Florida to Kentucky to Oregon to deliver no meat or no furniture. And y'all do it. And when y'all get to the places to deliver that item that you're supposed to deliver, we, the customer, are so ungrateful. Not saying that you don't get paid well. I'm just saying that you spent time away from your family. You've been sitting for about 25, 36 straight hours. And your body is starting to shut down slow. And we looking at y'all like You couldn't get here fast enough I am sorry Thank you for traveling through rain, sleet, hail, snow Santa Claus weather Just to bring me Mad 19 I appreciate you for working the stupidest hours In human history Thank you What's happening? What up? What's the deal, man? You on that road right now, baby Head down to South Louisiana to go get loaded Yo, uh about three hours south from where I live, where I'm going. So, uh, that's what it is with me. So, power only low. So, for the people who don't know what that means, just mean you uh, you just need your truck. You gonna hook up to their trailer. So, yeah, I gotta take a loaded trailer go up to Illinois. It don't drop off until Monday, so I just gotta sit on it. Which is good for me, cause I gotta go to the fire station today anyway. Then my first ship back. So, you know, that's what it is with me. But, uh, you know, I, you know, I, I know that don't run power on the loads, but, uh, thank you, man. I, I did want to load in week, you know, it's Thanksgiving week, so everything kind of slow. Uh, and this load paying out more four dollars a mile, like three ninety one, three ninety two, or something like that. So I ain't tripping about having a day here at home. I'ma drop that, drop the whole trailer, head back home, which is like eight and a half hours from where I live. But <clears throat> think about it. And like I say, number one, what is paying? Number two, that uh, since I'm running a hot shot. I ain't, I ain't going to have to run uh, run no log and take all the commercial markets out for the vehicle and run as a regular vehicle. Of course, I'm going to still get sleep and stuff like that. So I'm going to go and roll up there Sunday, sleep. So I will get the 10 hours down and uh, get unloaded in the morning and head on back. But like I say, Run as a regular vehicle going the way back. Take the commercial mortgage off. I ain't got to run no law. And I'm not pulling the trailer, so I'm not going to burn much fuel at all. That's what it is. I think I calculated total from deadhead down here to pick it up to going up there to pick it up and coming back home. It was like... Uh, I think 300 and something dollars. So, that ain't, ain't, ain't a big deal. For 300 dollars, something like that. I mean, we, I mean the load paid 2900 so it's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get back with y'all when I get to the load. So, what's happening, YouTube? Alright, so like I told y'all, power on the load is my truck. This is their trailer, their equipment on the trailer. We gotta go down the street a half mile down. They gotta put some more uh hoses on here. So the issue I ran into, their trailer only have two of those winches and, and they're fixed, they're not sliding winches. I only brought two ratchet straps. Uh they had two ratchet straps and they had two of their straps so I had to go drive to a store I had to go buy six and the other problem I forgot to get edge protector so I'm gonna have to cut up 
uh, strap and put it under here after we go down the street and put the rest of the load on the trailer. So whole load together, 15,000 pounds. Of course, you know, with those uh, four inch straps, you only need three for the weight. But this still 30 feet trailer, 30 foot, I think. Let me see. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. It's 32, about a 32 and a half foot trailer, something like that. So, uh, you're gonna need at least, uh, what? Let's see. Three, four straps, four straps on thirty-two. Two in the first ten, one at twenty, one at thirty. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus I have two more that I'm gonna put on here once they add the rest of the uh, load on this truck. The other problem I ran into was they have a really, really small connection. It didn't fit mine. So I also had to buy this adapter. Uh, let me see if y'all can see it. This big adapter right here, just to make the lights and stuff work on this trailer. So I'm glad I talked to broker up another $100. My equipment is $150 altogether, but like I said, I talked him up $100 and it's, it's still an investment cause, because I'm gonna need this equipment again. If I ever run into this situation again, then I'm going to uh, I'm going to have the the proper tools to get the job done. I tried to get me some pipe stakes made. Uh, they told me they wouldn't have them until Monday. Uh, I tried to borrow some, you know, that didn't go so well. So this was the plan B. We rigged some pipe stakes. <laughs> They're not DOT approved, so we're going to take them off. We just only put them on there just for the load. Also, these will not stay like this. I'm gonna fix these straps once we get the rest of the load on the truck. So, these will be fixed. Everything will be fixed that you see wrong. Rolling, man. Down here in South Louisiana. Slow it down. Let's break it down, break it down, break it down. Like I say, got to get the uh, the other section, the other half, the other portion, whatever you want to call it. Got to get that for this particular load. And after that, you know, I'm going to get on by my business.
happening? Man, man, your boy done ran into another little minor little setback. Uh, these hoses that they put on, it's not, uh, they're not, they're not solid, so it's not straight. They bend. So I got like eight straps on this load. So, anyway, I pulled over on the side of the road to try to see if I could fix it real quick. But I can't because of the way it's stacked. So, being on the side of the road isn't the safest place to be to try to work on something. So, basically what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to find me a truck stop or somewhere safe to get to a big parking lot. That way I can take my time and fix the problem. I mean, right now it's still stable. I ain't gonna come off the truck or nothing like that. But it can't it can't hang over the side. Like I say, it's considered oversized load when when your load hang over the side of the train. It's heading in. So as you can see, I'm at the station. I didn't have time to go park my truck and trailer, so I just brought it to work with me. Just bagged it in. So, this is working with these hoses is what I had to go down a half a mile down the street to uh, pick up once I hooked up to the trailer. There's hoses on each side. I think the uh, total weight like 15,000 pounds. Both of these big pump looking things. Uh, I think they said they were separated or something, like a thousand pounds each. And they got this deal here, whatever this is. And we got some parts. This other thing here in the back. So, and it's the company trailer. So, it's, like I say, power only. I just hooked my truck up to it, pre tripped everything, checked the paperwork. Make sure everything was good. I have, I added another strap. I added this strap here, actually. I only had this one strap in the front and this other one right here on this particular pump. So I have one, two, three on that, on the first one. Then one, two on the second one. I got one here on this. Whatever this thing is, I think it weighs like 200 pounds or something. One across these hoses. One across this container. Or whatever, this basket or whatever. One here on the hose. One there. Across this, I don't know, pump or whatever it is. One here.